The Natural Order of Money by Roy Seabog is a profound exploration of the interconnectedness of humanity, nature, and economics. The book delves into the fundamental principles of the real and service economies, providing meaningful insights into voluntary human cooperation and its relationship to the natural order. At the core of the book's thesis is the idea that there exists a natural order based on the interdependent components of time and energy. Seabag argues that societal problems increase as humanity drifts further from this natural order. Despite conventional wisdom suggesting that humans control the universe and legislate with absolute power, Seabag reminds us that human activity is always and everywhere ultimately tethered to and depends upon nature and the natural order. This central theme forms the foundation of the concept of ecological accountability, a term that Seabag uses to describe the balance that must be maintained between the real and service economies. The book highlights the destructive consequences of a service economy dominating the real economy, facilitated by the misperception of money as a concept rather than a physical object. Drawing upon historical examples, Seabag examines voluntary human cooperation as evidenced in Sumerian and Babylonian law, demonstrating a system of natural laws governing human interaction in a way that facilitates societal progress and higher living standards. This contrasts starkly with the glaring wealth disparities seen in today's economies, which Seabag attributes in part to attempts to manipulate nature for nominal GDP growth, leading to significant environmental damage. The book also offers a thorough debunking of the state theory of money, asserting that money is not an artificial product of the state or something valuable only because of enforcement by state power. Instead, Seabag posits that money emerges from nature and is used by humanity like other natural elements to improve individual situations and advance living standards. Here, he explores the idea of money as a unit of weight that in prehistory became a unit of account, useful in economic calculation. Seabag presents gold as natural money, the only medium providing an objective standard to measure progress and bind the wider economy to the real economy, ensuring equitable economic activity in accordance with the natural order. Despite the profundity of its content, the natural order of money is accessible to a wide audience willing to unlearn many fallacies and misconceptions prevalent today. By examining the differences and links between the real and service economies, it provides an excellent explanation of how money is inextricably linked to the natural order, a concept not commonly taught in modern education or understood by political leaders in the general population.